Hello, welcome to my revised tutorial to, for Alien RPT maps. Uh, my previous tutorial, while it was effective at replicating the style of the maps, it was also very clunky. It wasn't quite what I thought at the time would be the de facto way to do it. And uh, of course, uh, I'm always trying to improve on my method and trying to make the process faster because you know, making a map, being able to make a map quickly is always nice, especially when you can still make it look good. Um, uh, so this tutorial is simply an update to that using some of the new methods that I've learned. And well, I should probably go over the changes. So what has changed? Well, not, not too much in terms of programs. I still use Dungeon Painter Studio and I still use Clip Studio. However, a lot of the work from Dungeon Painter Studio has been moved over to Clip Studio because it's much easier. And uh, thankfully, I have corrected the issue in the last tutorial where you couldn't see some of the stuff I was doing. Uh, I'm just recording my whole monitor now because Clip Studio just doesn't like to record those uh, when you go through uh, OBS or something like that. So you should, you'll be able to see everything I'm doing this time, which is also so nice. So let's uh, start out with this. So what is the purpose of Dungeon Painter Studio if I've removed a lot of the work? Well, in Dungeon Painter Studio, Dungeon Painter Studio is simply to figure out the layout and to extract the layout, and that's it. So let's make a small layout for a very simple map. It doesn't have to be something that would be necessarily playable, but it could easily be playable if you uh, use your imagination. Let's just make a level, a room, and it's gonna be very similar to the last one I did. Just a small room like this and connecting. Something like this. This is pretty good. And now let us add a curved surface. Now, in the previous one, the, cur the way I did curved surfaces was kind of, uh, wasn't the best. And there are better ways to make curved surfaces, but uh, in Dungeon Painter Studio, we are no longer worrying about walls. So we can rely on the, these tools a bit more now which is very nice. So let us make something. And let's make like a curved surface. You can mess with this to make it more circular and stuff and all that. And there you go, that's a curved surface. It's not the prettiest thing ever, but you can also edit them after the fact if I remember the key for that. I think it's, you just have to click on this yeah so you can edit the shape of it and such like that and I'm pretty sure yeah you can edit the uh, these arms to maybe refine the shape a bit make it look a bit more like how you want like that. so you see there are these little things right here and you can remedy that simply by uh, moving say this bit up so that it's just covering it right and then you just move everything around to make it look good and how you want it or envisioned it to be yeah. see that's pretty good press ok and hey that doesn't look that bad for a curved surface and um, we don't worry about we're not going to worry about adding walls so this is completely fine and works and is completely functional now um, we could, and if this is the level that you want, sure, you can extract it right now. You don't have to worry about anything else. However, there are a few things that I like to do beforehand. First of all, I like to take the land bit. I like to make it a different color like this. I like to use this grass texture and I like to make boundaries for the level. So I'm just going to do some measurement and I'm going to put one right here. And then I'm going to put one right here. And this is basically doing is it's making it so that when you extract it, the, the bounds of the level won't be perfectly on top of the level. So you have some, some space to work with to make your design properly. Uh, otherwise, it will be cropped exactly to the, the bounds of the area. So you don't, I'm just going to group these and call them the bounds don't need to do that. And then I'm going to turn them off because they don't need to be on for it to properly render. And then I'm going to do two things. First of all, 
I am going to go to export to PNG like that and as you can see the bounds are controlling how all of this is going through. I'm going to untoggle add coordinates and I'm going to turn off the show grid on result and I'm going to set it up for roll 20 which is 70 pixels per square and that works great and I'm going to create a PNG. Make sure this is a PNG. If it is a JPEG, it will include this background when you export it. And that might not be what you want. For Alien RPG, it is definitely not what you want. And I'm gonna create a PNG. It's gonna rasterize. And then I'm going to find a place to do it. This is my folder for maps. I'll just put it in here for now. I'm gonna call this test map Reddit 2 layout. All right. I'm going, to press, I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to select all of this. I'm going to group that. And then I'm also going to turn that off. Now, why am I doing this? It's because I want to extract just the grid. Because I want to lay the grid over it afterwards. Uh, that way, I have more control over it making small edits to the map. And the grid will not be obstructed or destroyed by my process and I won't have to edit it manually to add it back. Uh, this is just easier for me. And I'm just gonna name it the same thing, but instead of layout, um, put down grid. Like that, all right? So that's pretty much all we have to do in, in Dungeon Painter Studio. And we're gonna go straight to Clip Studio, which we will go there either in the next video or in the next part. I'll update you on that. And you'll probably know by the length of this video. All right, see you there.